Red man syndrome is the most common allergic reaction to vancomycin. It generally occurs during rapid infusion of vancomycin, although red man syndrome is known to be a rapidly infusion related reaction. It may also occur when vancomycin is infused in a slow rate. Red man syndrome is caused by the degranulation of mast cells and basophils, resulting in the release of histamine independent of preformed immunoglobulin E or complement. The extent of histamine release is related partly to the amount and rate of the vancomycin infusion. Signs of Redman syndrome would appear about 4 to 10 minutes after infusion started or may begin soon after its completion. It is often associated with rapid, less than 1 hour infusion of the first dose of vancomycin. Symptoms of Redman syndrome typically consist of pruritus and erythematose rash that involves the face, neck and upper torso. Less frequently, hypotension and angioedema can occur. In severe cases, patients complain of chest pain and dyspnea. Studies of vancomycin also show that the most severe reactions occur in patients younger than the age of 40 particularly in children. Other research has found that between 30 and 90 percent of healthy volunteers receiving vancomycin develop brain band syndrome, while only about 47 percent of those with infections had the reaction. The incidence varies between 3.7 and 47 percent in the infected patients. Dear viewers, now let's talk about management of red man syndrome. Firstly, if red man syndrome appears, then the vancomycin infusion should be discontinued immediately. Each intravenous dose of vancomycin should be administered over at least a 60-minute interval to minimize the infusion-related adverse effects. A dose of 50 mg diphenhydramine hydrochloride intravenously or orally can abort most of the reactions. Once the rash and itching dissipate, the infusion can be resumed at a slow rate or at a lesser dose. Hypotension will require intravenous fluids and a severe vasopressors may be needed. Studies have shown that vancomycin is much better tolerated when it is given in smaller and more frequent doses. In clinical situations where prolonged infusion times are often impractical, as in the intensive care unit or an operative setting, especially ambulatory orthopedic or emergency procedures, pre-treatment with antihistamines combined with an H2 receptor blocker can offer protection against this infusion-related reaction with vancomycin. So that was all about the red man syndrome. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel Pharmacy D by Asim. Also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. The links are given in the description below. Thank you.